Stranger Things is finally coming back to the Fortnite universe. Let's talk about it. So first things first, update 23.40 is now being play tested. And yes, this is a brand new update. We just got 23.30 and now 23.40 is now being play tested, likely due to the fact that everything broke today. So about Rift Warden, everyone either likes it or absolutely hates it. But here's a Rift Warden skin. Epic Games sent to me it early. So thanks to Epic Games and of course, Fortnite game. Uh, with that being said, we actually have already got some secrets that coincide with this skin's release. So Fortnite Assist said there's also a mysterious circle of seven bright stars visible from Spawn Island. These may be connected to the Rift Gate, and now Stellan mentioned that, that he consults with the stars. So yes, guys, there's a little storyline event coming up very, very soon, and we think it has to do with this in the background video, the Rift Gate that is now being built on top of one of these platforms. With that being said, according to the Rift Warden's dialogue, my task set by the Aegis Champion is to create a stable Rift Gate, a bridge to new realities. There is also this, there is a being, a shapeless man. He watches us with dark purposes uh so yeah not quite sure what this is going to be but apparently he said also if we do not finish the rift gate the consequences will be terrible so kind of giving us a little hint towards what is going to be coming later in the seasons and later in the chapter and man it is going to be crazy i think the rift warden and many other characters will be of course the entire storyline as it progress into chapter four now continuing on we actually have for you guys a lot of broken stuff so ozzy antics said huge bug with new siphon perk you can gain health and shield from shotgunning your teammate with the new shotgun striker perk check it out Wait, he's doing the L2. Oh yeah, he's on controller now again. What? Bro, he's changing from... Why is he shooting his... You can heal! It's in comp! So yeah, that's not supposed to happen. Very, very game breaking. So you guys probably thought that was the only broken stuff in today's update, but it's definitely not. So Epic Games is currently aware of the current issues. Unable to emote after a victory royale, battle hound, and molten battle hound helmet visually incorrect. Uh, take a look at this crazy looking. Uh, terrain issues in autumn foothills biome save the world. The falcon scout continues going up and down without pressing anything. With that being said, though, that's actually not the only bugs in today's video. So check out all this other stuff that's still happening right now in the game. So, so far, the gameplay seems pretty crazy. Cannot wait to see what else is in store for today's update. We also have for you guys animations of the mesh for the new Spider-Man Web Slingers has been updated slash re-added. So, yes, guys, this is potentially for the upcoming Miles collaboration. You know, Miles Morales coming to Fortnite finally after a very long time of being leaked a long time ago. Fortnite X Kid Leroy has been leaked once again, and now we have for you guys the full showcase of the actual skin. Now, we don't have for you guys the actual face, but obviously, speaking if you know who he is in real life you could definitely guess what his face is going to look like but here's his full costume alongside that one of his songs stay is actually a part of his new emote which obviously i cannot showcase for you guys that in today's video as it is copyrighted music but i can showcase for you guys the emote itself so check it out now we're at the point where you all have been waiting for. So the Tendrils wrap has been updated once again for the new item shop design. It is part of the Stranger Things set. So we definitely anticipate we might be seeing some more Stranger Things cosmetics as we progress into the chapter. And with that being said, if we do get that, what would you guys want to see in the game as far as characters? Uh, according to Solar, he actually made these two concepts of Robin and Steve and man, they look absolutely spot on. So a little sneak preview if it were to actually come to the game. Now getting towards the end of the video, we have for you guys from from G Matrix Games update. There was a plugin added in 23.20 for shaders for Juno. It's Fortnite release version in 24.0. So expect it to be around that time period. So yes, guys, LEGO X Fortnite should be coming around the time period of 24.0, which of course is next season. So I think that on season drop, we'll be seeing LEGO X Fortnite and tons of other collaborations. So definitely stay tuned for that as well. Now, if you would like to learn more about LEGO X Fortnite, make sure you guys check out my previous video as we just covered it a few days ago.